G'day, Steve Gurney here from gurneygears.com and today we're talking about bumpables, how to retrofit a bumpable to your kayak um, and uh, in this case it's to a plastic perception wave hopper kayak, down with a racer but it can be fitted to a number of, or any kayak really, slalom boats, right, plastic play boats, uh, uh, multi-sport boats are the most common ones in sea kayaks as well. So in this case, um, with bumpables, you can buy them, well they're quite adaptable, you can buy them for um, gluing directly in. Uh, we sell wedge kits to, to, uh, to customise how wide you want it into the side. In this case, we're um, fitting these with a plastic side plate, a, sli a side panel, so you only need um, screwdrivers and, and nuts and bolts, you don't need any glue. So uh, you can either buy the bumpable with a pair of these side plates and you customise it to fit on here, we supply little Christmas tree uh, uh, rivets um, and you figure out how to bolt it up under the cockpit for your particular boat. In this case I've uh, pre-prepared these plates in to fit a, a, a wave hopper and uh, I can do that for you if it's a wave hopper you've got so it just screws in. So first of all of course you need to take out the old seat um, so in this case you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a number one posi drive or drill <laughs> and um, take all the four bolts out now when you take those four bolts out you'll find some brass plates and this is for the wave hopper and so you want to keep the, the stainless steel bolt uh, machine here uh, bolts and these two brass plates because we'll reuse them and so once you've done that this plastic seat well you first of all need to take out the back strap as well throw that away and this plastic seat pings out throw that away so most people well a lot of people find uh, rigid plastic seats or rigid fiberglass seats uh, uncomfortable not everyone so if it ain't broke don't fix it but if you're getting numbness in your legs it's uncomfortable squishing on the sides um, or it's too sharp cutting into your butt or your ischial tuberosity bum bones uh, hurting uh, well a bump is probably going to solve your problem not I can't guarantee it but it probably will so um, the good thing about bump is you can you can customize them uh, either by grinding uh, bits off, so I, I often grind things out of the bottom, for example, ischial tuberosities. We've already got grooves in here in the right place. I've thought ahead, um, got the spacing right so that it does relieve the pressure on your bum bones, but if it's not enough, you can chop a scallop out of the bottom here so that um, it's softer on the top here and your bum bones will dip into that. If it's really bad, you might want to chop holes in here with a, a hole saw or a, a little sharp knife. Um, or you can even mold it. So using hot air like um, you have to be very careful with a hot air gun because it'll burn the foam, but if you're very careful and, and um, not burning it, you can heat the foam up. It takes quite a few minutes because it's such a good insulator, uh, three or four or five minutes. Um, or you can uh, just pull some boiling water in here and just get the boiling water, uh, heat the foam up, and then you can mould it to your bum by sitting in it. Once it's in the boat, it needs to be cradled by the hull shape, not on the ground. Um, or you can mark where that spot is by using a little bit of paint. You get, you get your partner or a good friend to, to mark your naked bottom with a piece of paint or a felt to mark it and then sit into the seat so you get exactly where that spot is and then you can mould that with the hot water and then push something like a bowling ball or a, a softball or a cricket ball into that spot where you need it to push it down so as you hold it in there for a few minutes it'll cool down and maintain that shape. Uh, so there's lots of ways you can customise this uh, closed cell foam. So once you've, uh, if you've ordered this uh, bump to ball for a wave hopper well, you'll save the little uh, brass plate that you've removed and use a bit of tuck, duct tape to stick it into place on the marked holes. So, use some duct tape like that. And you see there's four holes depending how fore and aft you want your seat. I'd, guarantee, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend putting it back where it was. So before you take out the old seat, mark with a felt tip marker where it was, uh, well, where the low spots are, where your usual tuberosities are, and line that up so this is about the same spot. Uh, then stick that underneath in the, in the holes you've selected so it lines up and that piece of tape can just stay there, it won't matter and then you clip that, you do it both sides of course clip it into the boat on the other side, use a bright light or you know like a headlamp or the sunshine in this case and so you line it up I can see them through there, just check it's right with the screwdriver, I can poke the holes oh, I'm one too far forward aren't I? And so I'm just lining it up correctly, get the holes lined up like that. Then get uh, those screws you take, you've taken out, thread them in there by hand so you get it started. Then use your screwdriver or the uh, 
electric one and screw them back in and you've got it do it the same with the other one of course and you're in for seasons and seasons of comfortable paddling any questions just email me steve at stevegurney.co.nz or steve at gurneygears.com and there are lots of other good videos on gurneygears.com check it out